Tailwind UI versus this guy UI. I love you, Tailwind. You're my best friend. We'll be friends forever, ever, 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 ever. ever. The rules are simple. This is a Tailwind UI hero component. I am a complete moron slash buffoon. Pick whichever one you prefer. I'm gonna try and code something that looks better than this Tailwind UI hero component. At the end of the video, we will compare my hero component to the Tailwind UI hero component, and we will use the internationally recognized website scoring system to decide which is better. Let's get into it. So this is the hero from Tailwind UI, and this is my current hero. So let's have a look at how we can make it better. What do you need in a hero? You need a H1. So this is gonna be our text. Let's just use the same text for making it simple, for simplicity. You also need that which I believe is called a paragraph. Let's paste that in there as well. We also need, I'm just copying it, aren't I? Well, we also need some call to action buttons. Let's do that. Button, get started. Button, learn more. Wonderful. Look how good that is. Right. It goes without saying I'm using Tailwind for this. Tailwind is installed. This is on Vue.js. You don't care, probably you do not care. Let's just do it. I mean, do you want me to talk or do you want me to just shut up and do it? Um, because if I talk, the result's gonna be terrible. If I don't talk, the result's gonna be terrible. Right, let's see. So, I think, we would like to center it. So we're gonna say class MX auto max width. I'm very conscious that I may just be copying the exact same Tailwind UI component, but we're gonna try and make it look different, all right? Um, 7XL. Padding X8. Okay, we're getting somewhere. We wanna give some Y padding. And I'm actually gonna try and make it responsive. I got some criticism before when I did a similar challenge and I didn't make it responsive and people actually pointed that out and um, they were quite upset, quite upset. Quite a few complaints coming into the complaints department. Janet in the complaints department was not very pleased with me. Sorry about that, Janet. So I think on a big screen, it should be more padding or on anything from small and up. Don't copy Tailwind UI. Don't copy Tailwind UI. Don't copy Tailwind UI. Okay. That's working. Now, what do we want to do with this? What do we want to do? I'm not a designer, by the way. I cannot design. You can probably tell. So, this is our H1 tag. We want to make it uh, quite large. This is a test of my memory of the Tailwind classes. So, might have to actually go on the Tailwind website. Um, I'm good, I'm good. Okay, and we want it on a bigger screen, it to be bigger, funnily enough. We want it to be bold. How nice is this, by the way, just writing your classes in, having it update, 
there. Vue.js is amazing. I haven't really used straight up Vue.js for a little while. I've been using Nuxt, which is good. Um, it's nice to just use straight up Vue though, it really is. Okay, so we've got that going on. I think we should probably try and actually center this. Um, let's see if we can do that, if my brain can do that. So we wanna say uh, max width, let's make it small. I'm not sure if I'm being stupid. No, I think it's fine. This doesn't look great, does it? Doesn't look great. But did we think it would look great? The buttons are where it's gonna get interesting. I wanna put my own spin on this. I don't want to just copy Tailwind UI. I want it to look like someone else has made it. And it probably is gonna look like that. Buttons. I will style that a little bit, I will style it. Let's use some nice colors as well. Let's make it a little bit more interesting. So, I wanna go with some sort of dark green color scheme. Just see what happens. I think there's an emerald class, so if we say background emerald 500. Yes, there is, there is. Mm, okay. <laughs> Text white. <laughs> okay, I regret this. Whatever. Whatever. I'm going to make the buttons my own. Big. And let's go for, this goes for some some crazy border radius. Um, I can't actually remember the class for that. No, it's rounded, 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 rounded. Rounded. Is that the most rounded I can do? Okay, fair enough. Let's do some, let's actually, let's make it a bit. I want it to look unique. I want it to look different, but not in a terrible way. Okay, so I want it to be font bold. So it looks kind of terrible, doesn't it? Okay, and then we're gonna say margin right. And then this button, let's do very similar, but make it just an outline one. I, don't, I can't think of how the best way to do that is, but I think if you can do a border, border, I don't know what the class is. Okay, it's just border. Um, border width. Oh, is it ring? Ring, is that the same thing as border width? Hang on, let's try it. Is that the same or is that not the same? What happens if I get rid of that? Okay. Uh, ring emerald 500. Okay. Okay. Text cannot be that color. Let's make the text emerald as well. If you're still watching, by the way, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate your patience. Oh, text. Mm, let's make that darker. Oh. Oh my gosh. Okay. And let's do some 
funky hover stuff. Hover. 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 Opacity. Actually, no, let's do it. Let's put a ring on it. Probably a Beyonce joke there somewhere. Ring. Do I have to do this every time? Do I have to write, keep writing hover? Uh, What well, I reckon I can just do that. No, didn't like that, did it? Let's just do hover ring as well. If anyone knows um, a simpler way of not writing hover over and over and over again, let me know please in the comments. And let's do let's do transition. Oh, you just put transition. And you can do duration. Okay, so now if we change the text color, hover text, emerald, 700, eh, doesn't look terrible does it? Okay, 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 let's get rid of that. I think we need to do something with this, I think that text color is just too, too strong. So if we say, let's keep the green theme running and I'm actually gonna just give the whole section a background. Sorry, Emerald. Hmm. Okay. So now we go text, Emerald 900. This is looking more like an alert section, isn't it? Oh well. <laughs> Emerald. Actually, this one should be 900, and this one should be 800. Did that work? Why? What's happening here? Have I spot? Oh, that's why. Okay. Okay. Okay, <laughs> let's see what this, you know, I, think that, I think that needs to be bigger, doesn't it? Let's make that bigger. Um, let's make it bigger, okay. And then if we look what it looks like. I don't hate it. I don't actually hate that, to be honest with you. I don't hate it. I mean, it's not terrible, is it? It's not terrible. Well, there you have it. You've seen da Daisy, not Daisy UI, wrong with you. Look out for that one. <laughs> You've seen Tailwind UI. You've seen my brain create something. And now it's time to judge which is better. Which is the better hero component? There's only one thing for it. It's the best internationally recognized scoring system known on this channel. So, without any further waffle, please reveal the scores. Well done, well done. A fair battle. Join me next time when we will once again try to defeat Tailwind UI. Thanks for watching, the end.